After the opening three stages, we're now at the service end. The first time that our teams get a chance to regroup with their service. It's been a tough opening three stages for our ARC teams. Adrian Coppin, yourself and your teammate Tony Sullins are in the WRC field. So you're here first. You're almost the first of our ARC cars. Tough day. Tough day so far. Oh, man, I think I just want to go back to bed and start again. We um, started off, sort of have a plan to, you know, to sort of ease our way into it. Third, fourth, last corner of the first stage. Big moment. Lucky there was a road to overshoot. Ran out the bank and thought we were going to go over like one of those gentle rolls. Got out of that okay. Uh, and had a bit of a crack um, in the Newry stage, all going really well, but then had a big overshoot at the spectator point, um, running out of the bank again. So the poor old girl's got a few, a few battle scars on the front, but it's, um, we're here, we keep going, and we've just got to sort of pull back and make sure we um, just get to the afternoon and sort of recap for tomorrow. I thought we pushed pretty hard on the first one, but um, time, didn't, time didn't appear for us. So uh, the second one and the third one, obviously a bit of a surprise because we, we backed off considerably after uh, finding out that um, Brendo had had, uh, had some problems so maybe that's a secret just uh, <laughs> relax and the times will come but uh, you know the concern at the moment is, is the tyres you know the Kumo's got fantastic grip but um, you know it's probably wearing a bit prematurely so tomorrow's going to be a bit of an issue for us if we get there. It's awesome standing out here it's a glorious day but it's very hot in the car and the tyres in the long stages do get very warm don't they? that's what you're talking about they actually start to you know, wear quite heavily. Yeah, it's all, I think it is a temperature thing. I don't think it's uh, any fault of the tyre. It's just uh, a couple of those stages. It's just, there's, you know, you're constantly on the brakes and accelerating and braking, and it's just putting ridiculous um, temperatures through the through the tyres. And you know, the WRC guys are having the same issues uh, as well. And obviously, we've only got uh, two wheels uh, driving the car. So anyway, we just continue on, and we're just, we're just going to use as many tyres as we can, and um, and hopefully by Sunday we can have something to run on. Your car seems to have a fuel pickup problem in SS2 and 3, you're dropping bulks of time with the car cutting out. Yeah, exactly. Um, I have no idea why. Over all the bumps and the big jumps and things, and then it'll roll for five or ten seconds, and then nothing happens, and then all of a sudden she'll come back to life, and away we go again. And twice I had actually, in the last stage, I had to stop, put it in neutral, find a place to pull up, and then got it back to life, and off we go again. Okay. It's uh, nice to have the two Volkswagen nose to tail and have a really strong morning, both of you. Yeah, it was a good run through there. It was very powdery on that last stage, but um, we're a little bit too oversteery, but uh, we'll make a few adjustments on this next loop. But yeah, both uh, cars are going quite well, apparently. Um, ours is going really well. Yeah, haven't had any issues with the temperature side of things with the uh, dump pipe and the accelerating cable. <laughs> out. Um, but yeah, we'll get back into service now and uh, check it all over and, and go back out for the, the afternoon three stages. And even though you're feeling your way in and you, you've almost got to sort of fall back in love with the car because you've had some car issues, but uh, Citroën's are having a few issues and you're right in the mix with them, so it's sort of a nice feeling to be in, in the fight, isn't it? Yeah, look, it's, it's one of those events that you can't really get too tied up in what everybody else is doing because it's such a long event. Um, we're just going to focus on what we're doing, make sure we're, we're doing the, the driving style that we've been working on and work with the notes, but um, I've always enjoyed driving the car. Um, we're just having some issues with it early on in the piece and, and redeveloping and learning it and uh, it's been a bit of a learning curve unfortunately but um, yeah, character building to say the least. It was only Scott and Brendo in front of you, which you would expect to be happy with that, yep. but one's already gone. This is a big rally. Oh, yeah. Your experience will play a big part in this weekend I reckon. Yeah, well that's what I'm hoping for Dino. And, uh, we, I sat down and had a big long think about this coming into the event and, and uh, you've got to play it like that because you know the outcome could be massive for us, yep. especially to get the V-dub to the finish and uh, you never know what could happen. Steve McKenzie, you're having a play down here mate, what's going on? Yeah, we, we snapped the rear shock, the shaft snapped, so we've got a replacement there, we'll put them in, I'm not sure what's caused it though. So you've had some makeshift repairs to try and get it into the service here now, have you? Yeah, yeah, it's just been rubbing on the tyre on the transport back, so just been trying to keep all the spring and the shaft off the tyre so we could make it back here. Okay. Yeah. Well, you've got back here. It's been a pretty tough morning, though, overheating and also this issue. Yes, and we've also blown a turbo hose off, so <laughs> everything's happening. Second stage, um, just coming down the hill. Something went bang in sort of third gear and um, cut the engine, so I'm not sure. Something's internally gone wrong. Um, won't fire back up, so I think it's safe just to park here on the side, and we'll have to sadly watch everyone else go past. Thank you. 